Hello there, Hoover fans. On the left, you have a U4007 convertible, which is the oldest Hoover that I currently have in my collection. On the right, you see a Hoover Wind Tunnel 2 whole house elite, and that's the newest Hoover that I have in my current collection. On this channel, you have seen, via Thomas Rechtenwald, newer Hoovers than this. But I don't have those right now, so how about we actually do a two-cycle sand-in-the-carpet test and see what happens. Let's take a closer look at the undersides of these machines and also just generally compare and contrast a whole bunch of different specs. So this one has somewhat of a period-appropriate metal brush roll, but it has the four rows of bristles. This one has the only brush roll really that it comes with, and that's a helix style, and it's got a few years of wear on it. It's medium stiff. The brush roll RPM, big difference. So the U4007, about 2,900, and the Wind Tunnel 2, over twice as fast, about 6,200 RPM. So this one really spins quickly. How much power do they use? Well, the U4007 is very, very efficient because it's direct air or, say, dirty air machine, a little more than 400 watts. The typical bagless machine, upright, you know, 12-amp motor and all that stuff, this one, again, these measurements are not on the carpet. They're static measurements, a little less than 1,300 watts. So it's, that's a huge increase in power for these bagless machines. I mean, that's just how they are. The suction for both of these machines is just about the same. So the convertible, about 16 inches of sealed nozzle suction, and the whole house elite, about 18 inches of sealed nozzle suction. Lastly, the CFM, huge, huge difference. The convertible, 128 CFM, and the whole house elite, 55 CFM, with all the filters completely cleaned. Massive, massive difference there. So with all those differences, how is it going to do on sand? Now remember, sand is more of an agitation exercise than it is airflow, although airflow always helps. It never really hurts. And baking soda, the test that I do, lean a little more towards airflow. But for the sand, how well will these two machines pick up for two cycles? We need to get an initial bag and a bin weight. So here is the whole house elite. Full bin weight. And I'm seeing 1178.2. Five grams of sand, five grams of sand. I have a well-used Hoover Q bag that's been recently blown out. And its initial weight will be... 68.00 grams. Yep, 68 even.
right, we started out with 1178.2. This is 1179.2. Okay, and, and then remember, this is a, a bulk bin pickup. So that is um, 1. So 1179.2 minus 1178.2. Don't need a calculator for that. That's just 1. So that would be 1, of course, out of 5 which is 0.2, and if I move it over with the decimal over, we have a 20% bulk pickup. That's the entire bin. Now, that also includes any carpet fibers that are in there, which I can see right down in there. So now I need to separate that. trying to get rid of all the sand out of there, although a few grains isn't really going to matter. Okay, so you can see that for this round, you're looking at yeah, about 0.06. So there's something there, but it's not a whole lot. And I need a tray. Let's collect all this as best we can. All right, we have a zero. Okay, the extracted amount is pretty much about three quarters of a gram. So 0.75 divided by 5, there's the fraction, and then if I go and move it over, we have an extracted pickup of about 15%. By the way, in years past, when I had the original two-row brush roll with beater bars in this thing, I had just no real chance of running this thing on normal and having it being pushable. So I had to run it on high. But with the four-row brush roll, where it's all bristles, believe it or not, the front of the, the, the nozzle comes up just a tiny bit more to where I can run it on normal. And pushability isn't too bad. So this machine will be run on normal. Away we go. Just set on. Yep, normal. going to take me a minute to get this bag out of here. So let me let me move you in closer. Take me a minute to get this thing balanced right. Make sure it doesn't lean all over the place. Okay, we started out with 68. And yes, I know that this is going to be somewhat of a raw pickup. Um, I have no way to really easily separate the sand from any other carpet fluff that's in there. So there is that limitation for doing HEPA bag recoveries. 70.11, I'll call it, minus 68. So we have a 
total pickup of 2.11 out of 5, or about 42%. I'll just move the decimal place to make it look nice and neat. So 42%. That is quite an improvement, isn't it? Very old technology there, to be sure. Any which way you want to slice and dice the results, the older technology haunts the newer technology. It's just, I think that's just kind of funny. So an early 70s Hoover convertible with admittedly four soft bristle strips literally picks up at least twice as much sand as the newer plastic magic whole house elite machine. Well, sand tests looks like the new technology just really couldn't hold its own. So you're going to have to stay tuned for the fine dust or baking soda test real soon. But now I've got a bigger problem. I got a lot of sand to get out of this carpet. Let's see, if I take a look at my database, is there a machine that does a really great job on getting sand out of carpet real quickly? Hmm. So right now, many of you are laughing, some pretty hard. You go, wait a minute, won't a Kirby do a good job? Yeah, sure it will. But so will this one. Go ahead and check the playlist. 